it. This is a crazy fucking setup. So we're in a garage right now. I won't say addresses, John's. But we're in here. We have a table. It's kind of it's interesting. It's interesting. We got three mics heading over. Cables everywhere. This looks like a weird anime uh, fetish Simple. that someone would be interested. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Something on the very <coughs> the like the uh, something AK owners would watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The den the denizens of page two hundred and seventy nine. Yeah. Someone's gonna get that joke. Uh, but anyway, so I'm gonna go around the table. Uh, go uh, clockwise. So I got John from Francis Defense, Granger from Room Temp. Everyone knows him. BJ, first time. I said earlier, second. Matt. Ha go ahead, say it, dude. I don't want to fuck it up. I don't want to say it. Introduce yourself. Yeah, introduce yourself. So what's what's the name? What's the name? <coughs> All right. Anyways, Matt uh, Hash Trading Co. There you go. And then uh, yeah, he he's a edible dispensary. And then I have next to me Chris Punk Rock Gun Club. Another Yee. repeat. Yeah, and then I'll have the Michael set up. But yeah, so everyone welcome to be a, kind of a crazy, we'll kind of go into discussion, have some questions that you guys have sent in, and we'll go through those. I'm sure most of them are stupid, but we'll see. Just kidding. But um, but yeah, man. All right, so um, John, I'll let you introduce yourself, go through it and whatever, and go through them. and we'll just do the same thing. Like, this is like the, here's your car, now it's your turn. Sweet, man. Uh, I'm John, Francis Defense. Francis Manufacturing and Defense. I, I always don't, say that. I do that all the time. Want, just another defense group. Blah, blah, I'm blah. sorry, bro. But, uh, yeah, uh, small arms manufacturer, a uh, little bit of modification here and there, and uh, just make some cool shit, you know? Yeah, and obviously, if you've been paying attention, it's where the lower receivers are going, and be a cool little project, and we'll talk about that later. But, yeah, yeah so, you now of course, honor honorary legendary guest, Granger, Room Temp is back, of course. Couldn't, couldn't be here without him. Hello. Wow, that's crazy. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I just, According to the internet, I put pizza logos and self-shaped uh, uh, hipsters. But you were the first one, though. Yeah, I was. And it's not like well, a ripoff. Well, in the gun space. To be fair, yeah. it's all seeing pizza. All seeing, uh, all seeing pie, sorry. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've got BJ over here in the corner. Uh, BJ, I work part-time for Francis Manufacturing and Defense. Yeah, man, he's a, he's a badass, too. You know, was it? All right, with Matt. Matt, I can hear <clears> you, bro. I'm just kidding. Uh, Matt Hash Trading Co. Uh, I'm, I'm a dude who makes SpongeBob shit on the internet. <laughs> Big SpongeBob guy. People kind of like it. So, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. And everyone knows Chris. We've already been on. But yeah, so we'll have a podcast. What, what is this device? It's, it's the talking stick. You should also oh, say not it, oh, the, the talking, talking stick. But yeah, man. So how's everyone doing everything? Like, obviously, this is we're in a garage. And it's uh, it's pretty crazy little uh, spacing, but it's pretty, pretty tight, pretty tight, memorable. But, uh, but yeah, so I uh, guess go with some questions. But so on the drive down, Chris uh, rode with me down to Charleston or Somerville, whatever. And then we were. Really? All right. Whose fucking phone was that? Your phone. Come on. Yeah. Wow. Look at us like we're assholes. My bad. <laughs> I, I went up to. I, okay. All right. Well, all right. Well, now I have something I'm going to say. First of all, I pulled up to get the questions. And pe all right. Stop. <laughs> stop putting picture posts and adding music to it on fucking Instagram. That's I'm going to do was. it even harder now. I can't. I can't stand it. Man, I can't stand it, dude. If you do it. That's what I did. Craft. I just went to look at it and and that was fucking auto playing ready ready to roll. Oh shit. Someone's really excited about that song. Don't you? I man. guess so, man. I don't even know what I don't even know. What it was. All right. So pro tip, put your phone in fucking silent and that won't happen. It was on silent. Yeah, it'll still play the music if you're looking at the uh, oh, wow. Instagram. It was it was on silent. Because I put it on silent earlier. That was a Hinder song, too, I think. <laughs> good. But anyway, so, so yeah, so we'll go through, uh, drive down. Uh, we were just, uh, Chris brought up an interesting conversation piece of, uh, of a question. So we'll start off with, like, the, the general questions, little, little, little icebreaker stuff. And so, Chris, I, I, I won't take this away from you, dude. So I'll let you ask the question for everybody, and we'll go around. All right, so I, I got this actual uh, idea from a friend of mine, Mike. And uh, it was actually one of the first conversations we ever had once I met. And I thought it was a very interesting question. Uh, something you don't really get asked very often. So, if you were going to rob a convenience store, doesn't matter what you're wearing, doesn't matter what firearm you have. If you're robbing a convenience store or a gas station, you probably aren't, you're not carrying a Glock. You're carrying a high point, a Bursa 380. You're carrying a 25 ACP, a 32, some really just gangbangers type right. pistol, right? What do you say to the person? behind the cash register and if you guys want I, i'll go first 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. make this easier for you guys. Can you right? hand me so, my, my Bursa 380 so I can get absolute, in the vault? Absolutely. Right absolutely. absolutely. Is, there, is there one for real in there? There is okay, yeah, one yeah, in yeah. the vault yeah. right there. Uh, grab the high point out as well. Gotcha. The problem solver. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Behind the times, it's definitely sky pistols. In this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got the Bursa over here for you. You clear that thing? No. Oh, sorry, uh, Who does what? That? Just look down the barrel. Yeah, oh, oh, oh there's, there's one in there. If you, yeah, just if you want, you just pop one around my toe. It might correct it. May just fix a garage it. pop. Yeah. Uh, okay, so if I was going to yeah. do it, honestly, I, I'd probably stay calm and just, just, just try and maintain the situation. You just say, hit that fucking no sell button, make it fast. 50s and 20s only, or this Bursa is going to start fucking talking, and you're not going to like what it has to say. Or, you ever want to see your family again, you're going to make this quick bitch. 50s and 20s only. Make it fast. Straight, simple, to the point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. No tomfoolery. I'm trying to get in and out, baby. So, so I'm on a bicycle. So, uh, <laughs> all right, so, good Beach first entry. Again. Good first entry. All right, John. I'll, I'll oh, yeah, I'm gonna pass it to Matt on this one. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, yeah. well, we'll look great. We'll just go. Just okay, keep going. Okay. Granger, what's your, what's your thoughts, dude? How, how, are you, how are you? How are you pulling up to what in a imaginary scenario? I remind everyone. We don't rob. This isn't yeah. Gas stations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I would probably in the same vein of Chris. Short, sweet, simple. But I would probably add on like I need some Zins. Okay, yeah. Let me, let, let me get those Marlboro Blues. Like, probably probably add on. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean. On the way down here, that's what I said. I said, I said, if you think I'm leaving without one of those bags of Albanese gummy bears, you're fucking wrong, <laughs> bitch. I mean, if you really want to hit them with a hearse, just grab yeah. all the jerky. Yeah, that's right. Oh. That's worth more than what's ever in that register. That's true. <laughs> Uh, all right, BJ. Which, which, what's your, what's your thoughts on this, dude? How are you entering in? How are you pulling up? Um, probably just gonna back my van into it and uh, <laughs> <laughs> hop out the back, back the whole fucking thing. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, what, I'm, what time are you doing? Like, what time of the day are you doing this? Like, uh, what, we're, we gotta hit it at midnight. Midnight, you know, yeah, yeah. That or, or probably right around uh, shift change. So, yeah, you know, a little bit quicker to get away. Hold on. Sounds like you kind of know a little bit from experience. Yeah. <laughs> it's just kind no of, experience. That's pretty specific, no, 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 dude. Don't say don't say yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Hold on, hold on. I'm muting this. All right, Matt. I'll let you go ahead. Yeah. What was that about the Home Depot password uh, code? What? Dude, who's ro- who's who, who is robbing Home Depot? Crackheads and tweakers. Well, yeah. Okay. Uh, have you uh, been to a Home Depot dude, lately? I have not. Have you seen wood prices nowadays? Yeah, dude. God, I got material prices are I got some money for you. This piece right here is like 500 bucks. Yeah, no doubt. Jeez. Go ahead, Matt. All right. So, first of all, I have a Draco because that is the obvious choice. And I'm holding it sideways, you know, to intimidate and strike fear in this person. Uh, at first, I want to go with the, you know, the nice and calm approach. I want to be like, hey, you know, I'm not, I'm not looking, not looking to scare you or hurt you but just that sounds sexual just, like, just, wow. just give it to me that sounds like I'm not right. looking to scare you or hurt you but I'm pointing this fucking Draco at your fucking head that's, that's no diddy no diddy that's, that's the dentist system where they're talking about the boat yeah so they're I'm not, not saying it but it's implied <laughs> you keep on saying that and I don't know what you mean by saying that you keep on saying implied so no, I'd probably try and like be reasonable. Like, hey, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to hurt you or anything. I just need money. I'm trying to feed my six kids because, you know, For sure. that's how things are. My wife just divorced me. Yeah, my wife just six divorced kids. me because I didn't put her suitcase in the truck. Why you're gonna throw? Well, my friend shut up the cord test. Yeah, yeah. I, want, <laughs> I want two of those fresh gliz off the roller. No funny business. Give me the give me the mustard no, and the relish. That's a good one. That's no a good, funny, no funny business. No, that's yeah, a good you have, phrase. That's no you, funny business. You have to be thrown in the no funny business. Yeah. Because, you, you know, it really it helps them feel calm. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the big thing, calm and collected. Yeah. I agree. Uh, I agree. But yeah, I'd have, you know, just right. hold the bag up. Be like, put it in. Trick or treat, bitch. 
You're good. How did it go from like nice and gentle to like? Oh, well, no, creep, that's, creep, that's, creep, that's, creep, that's that's the that's the lure of the men. I do it on Halloween. You do it on Halloween. You're in costume. No one's gonna think it. All right, hold on. That's a cut the podcast. Cut the podcast. Nah, we got this idea. All right, let me get my preamble. Like, let me get it all set up. So let me let me let me let me set the scene. So first of all, BJ's right. It's definitely a midnight job. Definitely late night, midnight odd job right shift like shift like right before third shift because that's the worst shift to get off of and people getting in are gonna be so froggy okay so it'll be gas station you know find one off the exit away from lights i'm gonna go in i'm gonna wear a hoodie for sure black hoodie and then i'll have a black face mask and i'll so i'll kind of have like the hoodie kind of like personify you know whatever what you're referring to is called a shysty but oh uh, yeah <laughs> crazy that you're the person to say it <laughs> to be honest <laughs> crazy go in there be very you know very calm at first um and kind of like you know I, I well it doesn't matter you're, like, you're just gonna see my eyes to be honest so They're it'll beautiful. be They're but beautiful i'm gonna eyes. have i'm gonna have this really specific deadpan like stare and that's like the stare of when i'm like thinking about something and like everything is turned off if you have adhd you know exactly what i'm talking about it's that automated, like, and I'm going to give that look to them, and they're going to know something's fucking up. And I'm going to be like, hey, listen, um, I'm going to be honest with you. I, have a, I, don't have any, I don't have a lot to lose. My wife has left me. Kids are gone. Dog's passed away. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm doused up on 60 milligrams of Adderall. <laughs> and I can hear and feel everything. So if you press that button, I'm going to know. <laughs> and I want all the fucking money. I want all the fucking money in the register. And I want two paydays, <laughs> one for me, one for the driver, who may or may not be John. And an, no and, comment, I, no and yeah, yeah, and I want five black and miles, wood tips only. If they're not wood tips, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. All right, important question. I'm gonna be Wine fucking pissed. Or cream. 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 Okay, good choice. Good choice. Cream. Okay. So yeah, and I don't and don't give me a fucking pink lighter either. I want a lighter. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna want all this um, this money like quickly. If not, I'm gonna unload in this bitch. And I I'm not gonna bring a Bursa. I'm I'm gonna bring a Glock. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm, gonna bring, I'm gonna bring a Glock. I'm gonna bring a Glock 27 because it's the shittiest Glock, and it's gonna have the shittiest extended, and it's gonna have an ergo grip on it too. Very specific. Make, and I'm whoa. I'm just telling problem. you, dude. Oh, dang it, dude. I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now. If if you don't give me my money, and if I even feel like I sense a button because I can tell I'm on 60 milligrams of Adderall, I can. I can literally evade. I can. I'm literally can go between different time zones He's on that. Right well, first off, yeah. that's real because. Yeah. See, he knows. He knows. Like you're literally going between like time. When I drove across country. Yeah, you can. Here, you can finish yours and I'll, you can dodge a bullet. That's all I'm saying. Like finish yours and, and I'll as, say as, about my experience. As Chris said, on 60 milligrams of Adderall. One more reminder: I can dodge a bullet, but bitch, you can't. <laughs> and I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start blasting, bro. I'm probably gonna blast once or twice, not at her, but just once or twice, just to keep pull her like on edge, yeah. on the, roof, on the yeah. way out, yeah, like just, into like the Milky Way. Just for effect, man. Just like the most out. useless fucking candy bar ever, the Milky Way. What, dude? Who the fuck eats Milky Way? Just I get a Snicker it. bar or get like a Baby Ruth or what's? Oh, I'm thinking Three Musketeers, maybe. A, yeah, you're thinking. I'm thinking Three Musketeers. My bad. My bad. Yeah, Twix. my bad. I'm a Twix guy. guy. Twix guy. Twix yeah, guy. But yeah, so that's. I think that's how I'd go. Yeah, something like that. And I'd go to a good gas station too. I want, I want, I'm going to a QT. Max for is sure. very peculiar. I don't know if you guys know this. Is I just learned this today. Is very peculiar about gas stations. And yeah, like, you should be. That's a thing. Yeah. 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 I don't see why that's weird. No, I don't think it's necessarily weird. It's just that's just a very important, I think, aspect of this entire. I'm getting profile. Story, you know? Yeah. Yeah. He's not going. He's not going to the shit bag gas stations. He's yeah, going to the. He's going to the nice fa- fancy new quick trips and the. You know, the not really the, not the, the one that has a plywood that's been up the there ones for like that a you couple can, years. The ones life. that you pull up to and you're like, this bathroom is gonna be legit. Yeah, exactly. Because you Dude, know why? Because those would you people poop here. Because oh. those people have less to live for than I would, and I'm not gonna gamble and risk <laughs> and, and roll the dice on that type of gas station. Fair. There's probably more money there too. It. You're probably right. There's probably an ATM. All right, but yeah, that was a good question, dude. Thanks, man. Good job. Good job, Thanks, man. For sure. Pretty but yeah, so we're all in the garage today, just hanging out. Everyone's gonna meet up, and uh, so. But yeah, man. What's uh, so? What's what all's going on? So you guys got you. So who all went to NRA? Who went to the NRA? So Chris, you went to the NRA. Matt, you went to the NRA. You guys were fucking with lasers and stuff and doing cool shit. And sharks, sharks and lasers. Sharks and lasers. Yeah. Fucking this guy over here. Can sharks? 
What a laser. Are you talking about a fucking shark with a, a fucking laser beam attached to his hand? Yep, yeah. Right. But yeah, but uh, so yeah, what's what's been going on? How was, well, we'll start off with how was NRA? How was that shit? Well, it was very fuddy. I mean, I think it was busy, you know, uh, Saturday was pretty busy. Friday, Sunday, eh. But I will say for an election year, I think it was pretty slow. I think, uh, and hopefully someone from the NRA will listen to this. Matt can probably echo my sentiments. If the NRA is going to continue to exist past the next five to ten years, they are going to have to start appealing to younger people. There is there is a massive age gap between even guys that are like ours. I mean, I'm, I'm, I just turned forty, so there's a, there's a massive like gap between the kind of person who goes to NRA and walks around and gets free stuff from companies like stickers and hats and t-shirts or whatever. And someone younger who's getting into gun culture for the right reasons. And is kind of like the next generation. The NRA has done absolutely nothing to make themselves appealing or attractive to anyone under the age of like 55. So at this point, that's, that's kind of my takeaway is it's a bunch of older people. It's more for the older crowd. I'm not saying they don't do something for the gun community. That's not what I'm saying at all. But if they're going to continue to exist and even thrive in this industry, I think they're going to need to start figuring out a way to bring in more young people. That's my, my go-to. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree on that, on that uh, point. But I feel like that's true when said about almost anywhere in the gun industry. Sure. I think everybody needs to be doing more for the, uh, the younger community, really getting those, those people in because that's the next generation of uh, you know, keeping this alive. Sure. And, I agree. Uh, yeah, NRA was okay. Uh, Sunday was just, dude, yeah. so dead. So dead. We just sat there all day and answered uh, 450 Bushmaster questions. <laughs> <laughs> that should tell you everything you need to know about how funny <laughs> it is. So, so because that doesn't really make sense, I was working with uh, Duramag and BOE Suppression at their booth and uh, informing people on the products and you know all that good stuff about the new suppressor coming out. But nobody cared about that. It was all about them 450 Bushmaster mags. Mm-hmm. You guys, you guys put a lot of you could put a lot of R and D and time and figuring that out and make a really good mag and sell twelve of them, yeah. you know. So, I I understand because you know you always have that argument of people with the straight wall cartridge thing. It's like, oh well, it's because of hunting. Yeah, like that right there is the biggest. I guess you would say crux of the firearms world is the concerning about hunting. Sure. Because that is some of the fud shit they need to let go of. Yep. Like if you look at it, people that are still too chicken shit to do anything, like as far as advertising with their company is like, um, I don't want to say like tactical, but you know, everything's still like, oh, kill elk or what? Yeah. Dude, majority of gun owners don't give a shit about that, and I'm not shitting on like hunters or anything no, like sure. that. But it's like, why are you trying to appease such a small percentage of your market? Yeah, I mean, I, like I hunt, and to be honest with you. Like that part of my life and the firearms industry, you know, culture part of my are life, really, separate. really, yeah, they're, they're kind of separate. You know what I mean? I mean, the guys I know who hunt, I know a lot of hunters who, like me, are enthusiasts of firearms and are interested in that. But I also know, I know a ton of hunters, man, cl- including a lot of bow hunters who are not even really big gun people. You know what I mean? No. They might, even the ones who hunt with rifles, might own a couple rifles for hunting, but outside of hunting, they're not shooting. And I think that's really, it's an old, it, an old outdated mindset yeah. of, oh, well, you own guns, so therefore you hunt, or that you hunt, therefore you own guns. It's, and it, it's a thing that's been dead for a while sure. now, but companies still keep pushing it. And yeah. it, to me, it's just like, in the, the day and age we live in with the data available, like, look how many actual hunters... Are you actually pulling? Like, you know, how, how many of your customers are actually hunters? Sure. And I, I just feel like companies are like, oh, let's dump millions in the marketing into fucking elk hunters mm-hmm. for, you know, oh, let's do 450 fucking Bushmaster, 350 Ledge, yeah. and all this stupid shit. Which you can Straight get the magazines from Duramag directly <laughs> or for a, from a slew of vendors. Just to shout out Duramag. Yeah, he needs to pay for a sponsorship before we start dropping. No, I'm just just kidding. (laughs) Do you think it's something in terms of like a political element where they're pulling that and they're pushing that because they want to have the fallback of like, well, hey, 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 we're just... Because I remember Remington, 
I'm trying to remember all of them. So it was like, like Remington, Stag Arms, and this is like way back. And that was like when they started changing the, the verbiage of like, it's not an AR. It's or a AR. Multi-sport. It's an MSR. It's yeah. a, modern, a modern sporting rifle. It's blah, 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 blah. And like, you know, and that and shortly after they stopped, stopped making them or selling them or, or went out of business. Yeah. But like a lot of those guys kind of went into that mindset or trend or whatever, like the the generalized sporting goods stores that would sell guns. They yeah, don't Bash Pro is really th- big about it. I yeah. think you, you touched on something that's important. I think, yeah, 50, 60, 70 years ago, the guy who was hunting a lot was the guy who had a lot of guns, comparatively speaking. Yeah. Nowadays, that, that, that has literally shifted from mostly hunters having a bunch of guns or having guns to there being people who are not in hunting at all but are huge gun people. Yeah. That didn't really exist like seven years no, ago. At least not I, as prevalent. You well, know what I mean? Yeah. I think it was basically like a like a culture thing. Sure. Like if you look at today, like you have video games and all that stuff that introduce people yeah. into guns, movies, all this stuff that introduce people into guns, and that you didn't really have that that long ago. So yeah. it was one of those things like the dudes that were into guns were the dudes that actually were using them to hunt. That, you know, they had their own like justification of ownership. Yeah. Whereas you know, back then dudes were like, why do I? Why would I own a gun? I don't hunt. Yeah. And that was a common like excuse to not own a gun yeah but i mean times change and i think the industry just the nra itself is proof of that the, you know you can sit there and be stagnant and cling to your old ideals but you're just going to end up getting passed by everybody else sure. that's that's like modern day conservative politics i think in general and that's the reason why you see a lot of stuff too is they alienate people but that's the same thing i mean like as people like as like next generation comes up i can tell you Kids that are like the the next like the Gen Zs, they don't want to donate or donate fucking money. They don't they don't give a shit. Like they they're not gonna want to give five or ten or whatever money to whatever such and such, especially to someone or like a group that obviously like an NRA that kind of has some conflicting like thoughts going through. I, I mean, I do think like our age and stuff like that. You know, I think people are willing to spend to like the the policy, like the FPC, yeah, FPC, the stuff like that 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 is pushing something. But the next generation, if you don't start in, you know, really going after or getting these kids or making modern like thought processes or even political, even if you don't agree with it personally, you're gonna kind of lose because it's a losing battle. I mean, that's the whole thing with gun stuff is it's kind of a it's a dying breed. That's why you have to integrate, make it fun or enjoyable for for the next next generation. I think that. It's very obvious to see that gun policy, GOA, you know, all of these different like smaller groups that have kind of like come about to help sue the government on firearm owners' behalf and like get rid of some of these laws or keep some laws from being made. All of those little smaller groups that have popped up in the last like five, ten years have done, in my opinion, significantly more than a group like the NRA has done. Oh, you yeah. know what oh, I mean? They're, they're, yeah. using, they're using their money to actually make a fucking difference and, and do something, try and stuff. Posturizing. Yeah. Instead, and of just, instead of just being the face of it, you know? Yeah. So um, it's awesome. It's, it's actually great that we have at least three, three plus of those groups around to do yeah. those kinds of jobs. Well, also, FRAC. FRAC is a good one. Yeah, FRAC's a good one. They're one of the ones that are, you know, heading the SB Tactical the Brace mm-hmm. lawsuit. Yeah. And uh, I'm good friends with someone who's involved with them. Nice. Right. They're doing good work. Oh yeah. yeah, what do you what do you think, John? I mean, like, obviously you have some stuff, some sales, some transfers and stuff, and like, obviously you're, you're gonna have like an array because I think in general South Carolina is definitely a little bit, I don't want to say farther behind, but you know we're a little more a little more we conserved are, are. in terms yeah. of stuff and like you know guns ownership. But how does like how do you see like what do you see on your side? Like do you see a lot of a, like a blend of that or younger generation or what do you think? I'm definitely seeing a lot of the the, the younger generation stuff pop up. Um, I'm one of those guys that was, was never into hunting, never hunted. I, I mean, there's still only a handful of times that I've ever gone and, um, definitely got into firearms prior to all that. And, um, something that, that kept me going with it is seeing, seeing you guys and, uh, a lot of people in the industry going the pop, pop culture route and then, uh, bringing that kind of stuff into it. So I do agree with that, that, uh, those, those Companies going yeah. after the, the, the older generations need to, they need really need to step it up or they're going to yeah. lose out. Well, I mean, it's even like, it's even like social media. I think someone said, someone said it earlier, you have to have a presence on social media. You it have sucks. to have. It really sucks, but you do. You, you yeah, do. You have to. It's, if, if not, you're really just, you might as well not even try. I mean, hell, I know some people might not want to hear it, but that goes for TikTok. I mean, you, you kind of like, if you're like a really growing and if you know how to use it, 
dude, you can make fucking bankroll mm-hmm. pretty quickly. TikTok, Facebook, fucking Instagram. <laughs> Absolute worst. Let's do this. I was going to make a comment about China spies and TikTok. Oh, yeah. Well, awesome. Oh. What? Hollis on what? They're recording oh, oh, everything. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're recording everything through those little optics? Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. No, uh, no, I was actually... The training thing? Was well, it? I was watching... No, 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 it's about TikTok. Yeah, yeah, Like how companies, you know, that's the big new thing is banning TikTok. And I support the ban on TikTok just because I hate internet celebrities, but... <laughs> um, And that's solely it. I don't care about anything sensitive information or anything like that getting out. Um... But I was actually watching a guy make the argument about TikTok and social media and how, if you look at like Congress and stuff like that, the people that are fighting to have it banned and they're having the the straw man of, you know, Chinese intelligence gathering, which is, I mean, probably real, but not a major component. I think what a lot of it is, is like how social media has cut out a lot of extra steps. Whereas, you know, musicians, artists, stuff like that can now bypass all these agents, agencies, like talent services and all this stuff and go direct to consumer. Yeah. And as we know, in any business, direct to consumer is your most profitable venue. Like, uh, I don't think that's the right word. Anyway, but uh, the thing is, is like the firearms world needs to learn that. Mm-hmm. And it and it's ridiculous because if you look at some of these big companies and their social media, it's fucking garbage. Yeah, it's bad. And once again, we're back to the hunting thing. Like even if they do make like a social media post, it's like DD or somebody like that. Um, well, actually, DD has gotten a lot better. But some of like yeah. Remington and stuff like that, it's like some dude fucking some panoramic view of him in the mountains of Idaho hunting a fucking deer. No one fucking cares. <laughs> Like, stop doing that. Like, stop wasting money on stupid shit like that. Stop sending this guy on, a, on like, a $7,000 yeah. to, to get one picture to, to get 27 shoot, likes. Dude. To go shoot an Impala yeah. in a cage. Like, oh, yeah, well, that's cool. Like, I'm glad you're a fucking sweet camo, your Sipka camo. Yeah, oh, yeah, like, yeah. Well, that's a whole other group of c- uh, all right, well, <laughs> all right, let's uh, put a mark right there. No, but, uh, but no, so, uh, so I think that it's funny that you bring that up because I'm with you. I'm with you. Like... I, I have already accepted that a TikTok, I'm, it's like past my age range. I, I would have to like really sit down. But that being said, it people who are able to utilize it do it really well and it's mm-hmm. a great tool. But it does, I do find it quite interesting that the people who are really pushing to get rid of it are also the people who have not been able to create an algorithm or something that constitutes to keep eyes on their device or other or their platform as well as TikTok, which does a good job. Mm-hmm. And other, I mean, I guess, you know, that's some things It's like, you know, if you, if you don't think these other platforms are doing the same thing that their TikTok is being, you know, like targeted for, you're insane. Like I've had more crazy ads from Instagram that I've never looked for a search that popped up yeah. randomly. Mm-hmm. And like, it's funny, like even just saying or conversating or a TV show or whatever. And, and then all of a sudden I'm seeing it. I'm like, I, I never looked that up, you know? So it's, it's kind of crazy how these targeted ads, but that's like. It's only going to get worse and it's going to get more difficult with AI generated stuff too. So again, I think it just comes back to if like, man, these gun companies that are just so behind the times, like, I mean, like try explaining social media to them and then try explaining to them like, hey, you need to be aware of how AI, <laughs> AI type algorithms and things work and, you know, operate now and like create and make content and stuff. Because like, dude, it's getting, it's actually kind of scary how much mm-hmm. stuff can be done, created or automated to not even having like actual like whatever it is like content or whatever AI is just going to create it for you and do it just yeah. supply I mean it's gotten like even the simple app you get on your phone yeah like, yeah because even doing design work like to submit yeah. it to artists to have them finalize like I will say as far as that goes it for what like if you're describing the kind of design you want in the general layout AI can pop out something and you could literally send it to an artist and they could tweak it and it, but it's, you know, it's gotten so advanced. Cause you know, it used to be, it would be the most ridiculous yeah. image. It'd be like, what's a, what's that horror movie that it would like, uh, like some crazy disfigured, whatever, uh, 
It's like a. That's it's not a, vague at all. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, I kind of fucked Wrong that. Turn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, like, have eyes. It's like yeah. one. It's like the director, and it's always like abominational creature. It's like a specific director who does it. Uh, Clark Barker. Nah, dude. Nah, whatever, dude. Whatever. Man. We'll just keep going. We'll just. Keep I'm going. lost. Yeah. I don't know. I'll look it up. Yeah, we went from complaining about gun companies to <laughs> or social media to AI, TikTok, whatever. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it'll it'll pop back up later. But yeah, so very interesting. But yeah, um, I don't know. Well, it's, it's definitely curious to see how the next couple of years, especially with the presence of, I'm I'm surprised with the NRA stuff that it wasn't busier. To be honest, mm-hmm. with um, president election, I I keep forgetting that it's this election years are yeah. always really busy. Yeah, yeah. But when your major demographics on basically sitting in death's waiting room. Your numbers are only going to get smaller. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All well, right. I know we missed out on like 6,000 people on Saturday, I believe, because Trump was there. Oh, shit. Holding his own little powwow Cut. thing. Here's my custom Glock. <laughs> yeah. Here's my custom no, he Glock. he was in like a, like a ballroom or whatever the hell they're, they, whatever it was. But he had like 6,000 people sitting in there waiting for him. He was a couple hours late. So, I mean, it took people out for like four hours of the show. Oh, so, shit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're missing a lot of walkers and wheelchairs. And, and by then, it's bedtime. Yeah, yeah for sure. They were getting some supper. Yeah. Early bird special. Let's go. CZ is ugly. CZ. Whoa. I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, I was just trying know. to think oh, of something. I just, I just want to say that. I like CZ. Shane Gillis' uh, Donald Trump impersonation is. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. The, it's that, pretty solid. The one about Al Baghdadi. Yeah. <laughs> that, that is some fun <laughs> shit. If you've yeah. not heard that, you need to go Google. All right, so going to I'm going to ask you a question because we have a couple people here that weren't here uh, the last time I asked it, which I asked it in the car. Oh, nice. Coming home from the Gray Farm meet. Okay. What is everybody's least favorite food? Max, start with you. Actually, moderately easy, Indian food. I do not like Indian Damn, food. You knocked out a whole country. Holy Dude, shit. yeah, you're gone. Pollution gone. Overpopulation Ooh, gone. gone. Good luck getting customers. <laughs> <Yeah, yeah. laughs> well, they already shit anyway, so it does not matter whatsoever. I, I also that is also at the top of my list of foods yeah. I don't like is Indian God, food. Why don't you guys yeah. just kiss already? Holy yeah, shit. I mean we might. I, we might. We're driving back together. So. Would you like some of my basmati rice? All right. All right. And, and we're canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> we got to end it. Thirty minute thirty two. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for calling, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Matt, you know mine. Which one? Which one? Damn, Damn which egg, one? Egg, eggs. On. Anything egg can't what? do it. Can't what? do it. Won't do it. What? It's like Bro, force fed eggs as a child. Thirty. I'll be thirty five next week. The What's incredible edible <laughs> egg. You what remember that? Shit? I do remember, remember that. that campaign. Mm-hmm. Yep. The incredible edible egg, man. I can't do egg, man. Wow. Not just... not in anything, like like for when you eat like uh, hit me hit me like what? I don't know like fried rice. You like egg in your fried nope. rice? Nope. Hibachi. Wild. No fried egg. No I egg. just watched you eat a cake that had egg in it. Listen, listen, listen. So you're a <laughs> it's the ratio. Liar. The ratio. Wow. Listen, you're a liar. it's like me. I hate tomatoes, but I love chili. Same. I'm, I'm with you on that. Like, I don't. I don't, I don't eat tomatoes. Correct. I will say I will eat a fried green tomato. That's different. Oh, that's a whole dude, other thing. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just saying, I don't like fresh Wait, tomatoes. No, no, I, I, don't, I like ketchup. I, I, I like chili. Fruit. Yeah, I like all that stuff. Interesting. Okay. What did you say? I said I would eat a stingray's dick fried. I mean, I'll eat anything fried. Nice. Yeah. Okay. What about a man's dick? If it was fried, maybe, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is, mm. that's curious. Would it fit on, no, a, on a hot dog? I agree with the Indian food thing. Like, sure. I got a mini. My whole thing is about Indian food. Not only is Indian food shitty. Because that's, that's real. This is how Indian food is done. It's rice with some questionable meat. And then it's covered in fucking some shitty sauce. Like, that's <laughs> that's just a recipe for bad food. Like, and people... The, it's, it's the Glock customer thing. It's like, I don't have a problem with Glocks. It's just Glock customers. Like, people that are all about Indian food. All like, oh, have you tried this? This is so... Blah, blah, blah. They act like elite assholes. Like, culinary <laughs> assholes. Because they ate food from some shithole third world country. <laughs> so now they're fucking a global citizen and they're going to tell you about their culinary True. experience. It's like, dude, it's fucking vegetables. <laughs> it's, God damn it, Coconut. Man. It's fucking vegetables with some overly spicy. Like me and Tristan, uh, uh, Tristan, uh, Transit Orange right. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and him went to this Indian spot in Vegas. Granted, this is my fault. Uh-huh. 100% t- 
take the blame on this because Indian food is unappealing. So they had uh, Chinese food there. Uh-huh. They had uh, General Tso's chicken. Okay. And I was like, fuck it. I don't really eat Indian food, so I'll eat this. Like, it's kind of hard to fuck up fried chicken with sauce on it. No, they fucked it up. It was so spicy. I couldn't fucking eat it. Like, I had one bite out of it, and I was just like, no, my mouth burnt for the rest of the night. So that's where I kind of get into this whole debate. You you didn't get General Tso's chicken. You got General... I, fucking Abu's fucking chicken. Uh, General, Gen, General Patel's chicken. Uh, Patel's scorcher, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Patel's tongue scorcher chicken, dude. Got that provocator and special. Uh, no doubt. Shout out Nathan. Yeah, Nathan and Aaron. Um, but fucking. Like, no wonder you think this food's good. Like, the first bite just destroys your taste buds, so you can't taste anything. So it's like, no shit, you think it's good. It's like, you're not, someone's you, like, mmm, it's really good. You're like, how do you know? Yeah, how do you know? <laughs> like, can't taste shit. <laughs> you got the fucking I, Kama Sutra hot know. chicken, dude. Which is like, uh, I think, was it a... Uh, Mercenary, I think. What's the one that everybody... Chicken tikka... Tikka masala. Tikka masala. Or butter chicken. Which is not like actual Indian food. It's like it, it's like a General Tso's chicken. It's not a real Chinese yeah. dish. It's an American... American version. Yeah. yeah. They took something in. Where they Indians yeah. took something and made it edible. Yeah. No. Also, after watching Indian street food getting made on social media, yeah, yeah. I'll never touch that. So shit. that, and then don't ever look at what like uh, like a drug compounding facility in India either. Also, incredibly disturbing. And yeah. that's like your normal day drugs you take every day, like your Apparently ibuprofen, like a whatever. Shoe shortage and fucking. No, dude, yeah. it's just convenient to cut meat with your toenails. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> just, mm-hmm. Cut that just one out. Too. Got nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nice. I actually. All right, maybe this might that. be the. This might be the. Uh, this is how I episode. Get this is the episode of which he has to do the most editing of any that he's ever yeah. done. You better not edit that out. That's good stuff. That's I'm gonna keep that in. Yeah, I, it's not like you have a lot of Indian. Right, that is good. Hey, what's your that least is, favorite? That is good stuff. Not like Indian so, food. Not like, <laughs> or the I'm gonna have to say my least favorite food is sushi. Ooh, that's a hot that's take. A, yeah, that's a hot, that's that's a hot take. <sighs> the door is right there. California roll. Yeah. Which is not I, even sushi, really. Yeah, is it no? Is it is it raw fish or it, is it sushi in general? That that's what it is. Okay. I, I'm not a I'm not a big fan of the raw fish. Okay. I'm gonna agree. So I really want to be that dude and be like come tempura roll. Yeah. 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 Fried shrimp in that. But I feel like you guys are bringing up Americanized like. Sushi. Yeah. So that's I probably because we're American. I that's, will say that well, like except for the Pollock. You can you can like do it like a Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> number Not two I, have to, uh, I know you have to have like a transitional period so like you try it out style a little start super like over the top Americanized which is pretty much just completely fucking fried like it literally comes out as a fucking fried ball and as you kind of progress then you know but I get it I get it I can understand that I can understand right. that yeah. alright man alright All right, Matt. Matt crema <coughs> Matt la crema still the same oh, as fresh crema time? Matt will eat fresh anything crema. covered in white creamy crema dude yeah. literally yeah, said yeah. he would eat Watery a fried stingray yeah. dick just a moment ago yeah I mean it's a- who knows? Also, a man's dick. That's a he did say that. Yeah, he did. He did. But he did say on that. a hot dog. One. I mean, yeah. and there's nothing wrong with that. that in That's India. 2024. Dude. Uh, Condiment so, free. So, so my least favorite is either people are like, yeah, I totally get it, or people are like, it doesn't taste like anything at all. I fucking despise cucumber. It is the most overpowering taste and smell in the entire world. Really, and I cannot stand it. I'm muting. No, I'm just <laughs> wow, what a stupid take. I'm not. I'm not a big cucumber fan either. Cucumber but I mean, it doesn't matter. I do like it on a good like hot chicken sandwich or something like that. Uh, yeah, they're like some specific. Yeah, it's pickles. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. It's the it's same fucking thing though. I isn't love, a, isn't a pickle love cucumber? Pickles. Love pickles. Love pickles. Okay, so there's there are yeah. le- levels like you know. Eh, well. So you'll eat a, a pickled cucumber but you won't just eat a cucumber that, that makes sense though yeah because yeah. it doesn't taste like cucumber i'll eat an how egg, you gonna talk I don't shit like pickled eggs how are you gonna bring up the egg versus cake and then go to the pickle versus cucumber oh, dude. Ooh. Dude, that's, that's valid. scorched earth get him get him fucking destroy John, him dude waiting for this conversation yeah we both don't like tomato I love tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> He's a closet tomato. Hater. I will fucking eat a tomato like He's an apple. He's sponsored by Big Tomato. Hey, oh, don't let him fool you. 
He will eat a tomato like an apple. Do we, do we have any tomatoes here? Go get. There's probably some in the fridge. Let's let's get this. Let's get this oh. going, dude. I want to tomato see this guys. shit. I want to see this. I want to see this dude Grab bite into a big too. juicy oh, tomato. Yeah. Big red juicy nice. tomato. My only thing with cucumber is, I love cucumber like especially during the summer here. Yeah. Like a bowl of cucumbers with a little bit of dressing on them. And then you like. I'm into that. I'm into that. Dude, they're great. But cucumber like drinks. Raw? Oh. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> cucumber Gatorade's so bad. So bad. Dude. Cucumber melon Gatorade. Why is it popular? Why is it still a thing? <laughs> yeah. so, Who's drinking it, dude? I know. One person. <laughs> one person. My buddy Kurt drinks that shit. And it's like. He needs to buy more, dude. When you live with a bunch of roommates. You know how hard it is to keep food and drinks in your house? All right. I that thing that. just Dude, stays in the nobody fridge. Nobody ever fucked with that. Like, That's no, fucking funny. Well, he just bought it once, and then he refills it with something. No, like, he is... <laughs> no, he is... Uh, yeah, that's just true. It's a hand safe. That and fucking green apple Gatorade. Yeah. yeah. The fierce Dude, the fierce green apple. You can apple. do it, yeah. so you half and half it with water, and it's actually pretty good. Apple but drink fucking water. straight? Mm-mm. Yeah, no way. Too much. If I gotta chemically alter a Gatorade, I'm not gonna fucking drink it. <laughs> chemicals. <laughs> I'm gonna add hydrogen Chlorine. and oxygen and shit. Like, Four I'm not doing it. All right, so we'll round that up, and we'll do another question. Maybe do like one or two just because we're in a huge space. But um, all right, so this next one, I'm actually... This is what I had in my mind earlier, and then it completely poofed out. But, you know, be like that sometimes. Um, English language, what is your least favorite word? Like, what is a word that fucking just grosses you out? You know, just makes your hair stand, or you just fucking can't stand hearing that specific word? Um, you know, you know what I mean here? Yeah. I mean, I got my word. I know. I get it, but I don't... If someone says moist, Die. you are immature and a woman. An immature yeah. woman. Uh, that. Pre-teen. Mine I want to hear it. is I moist, hear it. and <laughs> dude, I hate saying it, bro. I don't want to say it. Say it. I hate saying it. Whisper in my ear. Do it. All right. Oh, it's, it's, I love how it's gonna pick it up. So. Yeah. Panties, dude. Oh. I hate that oh. word, dude. Just I just, say. I would rather someone say. say I just got a boner. Yeah. I would rather. Just, it yeah, almost touched my underwear. Yeah. I'm not even wearing underwear. I would rather someone just say fucking like. You brought the eggs in the tail. <laughs> <laughs> <Wait, there's laughs> sexy underwear <laughs> you're wearing. Oh, what the fuck? Yes. Here we go. <laughs> Cucumbers. Oh, yes. Oh, Where are the eggs at? Do it. Gross. Where are the eggs at? <laughs> no, make him an egg. Jesus. I'll eat a cucumber pizza. So we've got tomatoes and cucumbers on the table. Yep. John That's is eating so them like gross. John is eating bro. these tomatoes like grapes. They are grapes. What a tomatoes. caveman. <laughs> Cherry, 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 cherry. This is hey, hey, John. What John is going on right now? They're uh, they're angel sweet. Hey, they're fucking hey, delicious. Let me tell you guys something. I want you guys to look at John. What John is doing right now with those is what a caveman would have done with bird eggs back in like the, the caveman period. Yeah, my eggs, man. That's it. His ancestors. So gross. All right, buddy. What <laughs> one man's Hang eggs out. is another man's tomatoes, dude. Dude, I'll do it if you do it. <laughs> Not until John eats a what is that? fucking egg. Cucumbers. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Like is there cucumbers. dressing in there? Yeah. Let me yeah, get some of them too. Oh, I'll rock the dressing too, dog. Yeah, bring yeah, bring that over here, man. What is that? You know what I Probably hate? Italian. We, were, God, we were talking about... Stinks. Is that ranch? You were talking about sushi and Bro. stuff earlier. I, I hate know. when they pack shit full of cucumber. They don't have a smell to them. Mm. Oh, man. It's just like, it's just like water. I have it? kids right. in this house that don't know how to clean shit out, so I don't know what this is. Actually, yogurt. That's a, that's a, hey, toss me that thing over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat a freaking cucumber, bro. I ain't scared. I will say, one time I did eat a cucumber. Yeah. With his butt. No. Um, <laughs> with his butt. I don't know what they sprayed on it. <laughs> That's funnier than I should be. I'm, I'm 10. Okay, fuck me. Sorry, so James, go ahead. <laughs> no, like, I don't know what was sprayed on it or whatever, but see how that uh, cucumber is, like, skinned? Yeah. I do the same thing. <laughs> yeah. But it was the most bitter fucking cucumber I ever had in my life. Like, to the point of nauseating. Oh, damn. And uh, that's why I don't buy English cucumbers anymore. That's a long story. They but. test each one. That's, there goes my... Mmm. <laughs> These are delicious. Mmm, cucumber. Oh, I thought you were bringing an egg. Some people are... Oh, can we get another one of those? Yeah, black, I'm completely one? aware of how here. much I absolutely... Two what is that? I did eat my veggies. This is, like a, this is turning into an oh, ASMR this. compilation. It's a, this is a Diet Coke. Coke. Yes, please. When but I yeah. was growing up, there was always Diet Coke in my house. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. kind of how mine was, too. God. Don't do that. Don't. 
Don't yeah. slurp on yeah. it. Yeah. I'll yeah. fucking shoot you in your own house. Yeah. <laughs> so this is <laughs> like 69 and a half feet. He's gonna, he's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna shoot you with that burst of 380 oh in a second. Oh my god! Hey, stop. hey, this is gonna this is gonna turn out. <laughs> It's gonna turn out like that office scene where they're all in there, like doing yeah. the like, guns at each other, like Mexican standoff style. I ain't going out for this. Yeah. <laughs> all just gonna torment each other. With fucking... No, that and YouTubers that wear their mics on their fucking neck while they're drinking any beverage, and I can hear you gulp. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, burn in hell. That, I that's hate you. that goes for that goes for gaming in general, dude. You play a game or something like that, and someone fucking's like eating their fucking. Dinner, ninety-nine cent bag Doritos, and then Thank drinking you. their fucking drink, and then having their fucking fire alarm go off all at the same time, dude. You're talking about like fucking ticks, dude. I'm gonna fucking jump out the window. Sorry, bro. I can't stand that. That and dogs drinking water. Oh yeah, I love dogs, but the sound of a dog drinking, goddamn it, stop. The sound <laughs> of gross. a dog drinking water, like I don't, it's, it's one of those things. Like I grew up in a household. Like if you smacked at the dinner table, mm-hmm. you got smacked. You were getting smacked. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. my mom would backhand the shit out of me if like I. But I've had the, I guess, displeasure of eating with certain people that, like, not only did they smack, but they open mouth chew, like shit like that. Yeah. And I'm just like, it's like PTSD. Have a conversation. Like I start having childhood Have a conversation contract. with you while there's a mouthful of oatmeal. Yeah. yeah like, so, cool. like, funny story. Um, I don't know what age you got that ingrained in you, but I can tell you, I was same, similar, similar circumstance. I was about five, six or seven, give or take. I remember being at like this country club with my grandparents and same thing. I was like eating with my mouth open and my grandmother underneath the table pinched the absolute hell out of the side of my, my, my side of my waist. And ever since then, mm-hmm. never again. And it like now it's like a hyperactive thing. So when I have people like I can see like they're doing <laughs> nasty, it's crazy. But yeah, I can't say either. You want a, a liquid IV? <laughs> Blow this bitch up right Jeez, now. Jesus, but uh, but yeah. So uh, back to back to the word. What's what's a word that you absolutely can't stand hearing? What's a word you can't stand? I don't have a word, at least as far as the actual like or sound pronunciation yeah, or yeah. sound of it bothers me. There's not a word that does that. If you're talking about a word, I hate hearing people use. I would say. It's... <laughs> Go on. James is fond of that word. Wait, what? Oh. No, so what's I... our word? Oh, gotcha. Yeah, it's not that one. It's the rolling um, armor, dude. Mine, mine would have to be slay. Oh, I, I, I'm not a fan of the word. Thought you were going somewhere else with it for a second, dude. Nah, uh, I do like the band Slayer, but not nah. the word slay. Dude, I can't stand the slays. As far as actual, like you know, how words sound, literally no word bothers me. But I just there are words that people use that are overused, and it makes me hate those words. So that's where I'm at. I, I hate that word okay. in popular culture, like. That's that's that's, that's what slay. I mean. That's what yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I hate the that. context that it's used. Yeah, it's really or annoying. I hate standing on business. I can't. That one just like it was maybe funny for like a week, and yeah. I can't stand it. Standing on business. Yeah. Stand on business. Yeah. yeah. Fucking no cap. Yeah. Um, if it's if it's not business, I, cap? then it's no wrong. cap. I don't. I slang words like that don't really bother me. No. Um, this is annoying. I think more than anything. I think it's like words like uh, Pacifically Irregardless. <laughs> Irregardless. When oh, people just I say got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Here you go. Ipso facto. Yeah. Or okay. uh, How about take, fuck you? <laughs> take it for granted. Mm. Yeah. Like, granted. <laughs> not granted. Granted. <laughs> granted. No, that's, 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 that's a Both. south. That's a southeastern yeah. thing. I was gonna say. That's. Some, I know. I didn't. I know he took it for granted. Yeah. yeah. He that's some. Honestly, that's some Edgefield yeah. County type yeah, shit right there, dude. I have someone that is uh that was very close with me that that speaks like this and is lots of inside jokes that still go on to this day. It's, oh. it's quite funny. It feels like you. Do you? Do you? Maybe. Mm. I don't know. Could be here. It ain't me. No. Does, fucking he, look, look, does me. he look like me? He looks. I finished it's... fucking fifth grade. I know how to talk. She's, she's related <laughs> to the one that looks like me. Oh, okay, okay. Never mind. Oh. How about how about you? Any any words? Any, no, anything, Taylor? No. I think the, the lingo, the, the the teenage lingo now, and all the fucking. It's not bad. It's some of, but some know. of it's a stretch. Some of it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to have a serious conversation with my son, and he hits me with some of these. Cap, bro. No, it's <laughs> cap. I'm like, dude, shut the fuck up, dude. Like, cap, well, come on. I, the thing is, is like, oh, so God. a lot of people are like, oh, it's because you're fucking old or whatever, and you're like being grumpy old man. No, a lot of it is like. Like, saying I used growing up... I need more tomatoes. ...was at least rooted in the original word or the expression. 
Like, yeah. I still don't understand the fucking cap thing. I'm trying to figure yeah, it out. Like, like, no so cap there. means no lying. I'm like, how, how does that... Connect the dots for me, please. Like, I don't know. That's, but I, that was the same thing. So for like a quick moment without looking it up, for the longest time I was like, okay, so, so which one's which? Is cap is good or is it no cap is good? Which one is true, which one's false? Not sure. Then finally I just succumbed and I was like, okay, I'm gonna find out. Uh, My niece has taught me. It's a cane on your face, dude. On God. All on your fucking face. <laughs> on God, that's one of my favorite ones. On God. On God. Bussin' bussin'. Well, you know, like another thing is like everything is being abbreviated, like in text messaging now. So like even some stuff, it was I was like talking to one of my buddies and uh, we had like different interpretations. And I was thinking of like the the old school one or like the older one, and then he's like, "Oh, my administrative administrative assistant said that that's not what that means anymore." Like, well, what the fuck does it mean now? Like I can't I can't remember what it was. But you it's have like, an administrative assistant. My buddy's yeah, an no, saying, That's what I would have said. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, he's a lawyer. Well, he was talking about his lunch at the country club earlier. Yeah. So. The country club. Mm, yeah. Mm. Big money. Shallow yeah, and like, pedantic. That's like oh LOL. Most people think it means laugh out loud, but actually it's a... Legal. For today's sponsor, League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> An interactive multiplayer game. <laughs> with 12 million players. <laughs> MMORPG. Oh my god. No, uh, no, no, next sponsor, Blue Chew. <laughs> Blue Chew. If you ain't, if your shit ain't hard, then I don't want none. Get that pump. Wait, what? To get what? that dump. <laughs> clip that. To get you some. <laughs> That's a good sound. Axel wants hard cocks. <laughs> you want that thing? If it ain't pumping. hard, I don't want it. Yeah. I what? don't want no soggy shit. Yeah, they got my face. That was one of my things. I'm gonna make Max drop his panties over here. Always saw this whole Again, I'm not wearing. Okay, With not the, wearing uh, any underwear. Not the, uh, saying the p word, dude. Bro vet, fucking lingo. Bro vet, hard as fuck. Oh yeah, bro. Like, and, and that's the thing is like, that it's forward that does it, and I I know those guys personally, and we're all friends, but I never understood that like telling another man to stay hard. Stay hard, like, bro. That's that's what a fluffer says on set. Or a bar. Of, you know. <laughs> Dude, what's up? There's another. There's another one that's uh that's kind of like that too, though. That people say the brovet type thing. There's another one that's kind of like that. It's mud water. Oh, are we talking about the drink? Oh, yeah. Jesus. Drink your mud water. Mine's right. when people talk and like use the phonetic alphabet. You know. Well. My thing is, is like, yeah, that's understandable if you were in a situation or an MLS that called for that. Mm-hmm. But like, when you're the fucking security guard at the mall, there's no reason. For <laughs> Whiskey Tango <laughs> box drop, man. <laughs> Dude, but back in the day, which was a Tuesday, but uh, back in the day, when you used to have to call in Nick's checks, you can't say that. You can't say that, dude. What Nick's checks? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you said it again, dude. Anyway, back way, in the day when you way, had to call way, in... Way to show your age. Nah, fuck off. <laughs> Roll the R on that one next time. Uh, no, it's with an S. It's cool. Um, <laughs> I've, got, I've got some black friends. It's cool. <laughs> I'm canceled. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm roasted, dude. My landscape guy's not... Anyway. Uh, no, uh, so <laughs> back in the day, you'd Water. have to call in background checks. Which wasn't that fucking long ago. So don't try to tell me I'm old. Because it wasn't that long ago. No, it's not. I I've, am old. I've, uh, I've held my FFL for six years and I've had to call in one Nick's check. Well, there you go. You've done it. <laughs> uh, really? System, yeah, the system was down. Oh, uh, no. Ours was just <laughs> that's what you had to do. But I, it was one of those things like me and my coworkers would get around. Because you'd have to go back into the back office to do it. So you, that way you're not on the floor and all the shit. But I would literally just fuck up that alphabet just to fuck with the Nick's people. And I wish you, could, you still had to call them in because that was some of the funnest shit. I used to tell the agents I loved them because they would ask, "Oh, is that everything? Love you." And they're just sitting there like <laughs> just <laughs> awkward pause, like say it back. That's good, <laughs> dude. I was like, "You say it back, I'll hang up." All of all of, all of what is going now in pop culture when it comes to guns is actually his fault. The ATF agents from back then got super pissed, and now they've just taken it out of the public because he used a hit on them. On the, oh, dude, on lines. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't doubt it, dude. I used to troll the shit out of If you use the phonetic alphabet, like, incorrectly, oh, yeah. people get real pissed off. Well, the best is you use words that sound similar to, like, an M-N. Like, you'd use a word that sounds like it could be pronounced an M with, or an N, or something like that. Mm-hmm. And it really just fucks them up, because they're just like... Yeah, like, Pam, Pam. Yeah. But it's... The worst. 
But uh, and just substitute like I would like I would put like unicorn as the U. <laughs> like oh, yeah. good, yeah. P like, is I would change the letters around in some of the ones instead of like you know Charlie, but Charlie's. Or like just just say Carlos, man. Yeah, Carlos. Carlos. Yeah. You might think you have like you're like dyslexic or something. Yeah, so Lima, lemon, <laughs> lemon. Lemon. Uh, what's this one? What's this word right yeah. here? But the best was like a lot of them, for the most part, figured it out. Cause and it tells and it tells me like they dealt with enough fucking idiots that didn't know the phonetic alphabet that they could decipher what I was saying. Imagine, imagine like the worst person that calls into the next Knicks every single time. And that person had to deal with. Because you know, like... Probably some fucking Cajun retard from Louisiana. <laughs> so, yeah. In my count. And yeah, come on. And now I'm back. I can't help it. Talk. Talk. In the customer service, like, realm of the, the farmer's world, I've dealt with, like... Because a lot of... It's on the phone, specifically, that's an older person thing. Mm-hmm. Younger people just want to buy it online or whatever. Deal with email, etc. Older people like phone calls. Dude, I had old people call in. A couple of old guys. And I literally... They were so country. It was like fucking talking to Boomhauer. You know, mm-hmm. just couldn't, couldn't <laughs> understand fucking, fucking people. word. And I'm like, can you send me an email? I'm like, oh, they don't have email. They don't have an email. So it's like. I ain't got no computer. Yeah. I mean, I you know, no I'm not real good with computers. They're going to steal my identity. Here's no, my they, credit card. They barely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Expiration real, data is, and here's dude, the security bro, code on the back. Like, yeah, there's like three grand in that fucking account, dude. No one's stealing that, bro. Come like, on. Or the dude. my social too. <laughs> and I blame <laughs> Brownells for shit like that. Because Brownells is still one of, I think, the few companies. That you can still oh. mail them a check. What's your catalog with your number? Order. Like, and they'll yeah, fill it. out of the catalog, and they'll fulfill it. What's a like, check? Stop catering to these idiots. I haven't used a check. Dude, I bitched my dad out one time. We were at the grocery store. I'd stop with him. He's like, "Oh, I got to swing by the grocery store." I was like, "Okay, cool. Get oh, in there." I did. And I like, I'm ADDing out, so I'm looking at candies and whatever else is bullshit over there. And I look over, and he's got on that little pedestal writing a check. Stroking I was like, "What check. are you? What are you doing?" He's like, what? And I'm like, get get out of my way. Get out of my way. And I just gave the girl my debit card and they hear. You just that. saved her life because then she would have had to learn how to redo that, that whole process dude. of using yep. a check. And my dad is just looking at me like, what so the hell is like, I'm sweating I'm, bullets. I'm creating a teaching, a teaching opportunity here. You know? Teach a moment. Yeah. My dad's like, um, well, I don't like them cards because people can steal your info. I'm like, yeah, it says the guy with a piece of paper with your account and routing number written on it, dumbass. Like, <laughs> get out of the way. Adapt. And your name signature yeah, your name, your address. Yeah. Yeah. Every, your driver's license number. I, it even has a picture of you as the uh, background of the check. I haven't had a, a check or used a check in like over 15 years. It's the worst, dude. I'd, I've never once read a check in my entire life. Like twice in total. And I was yeah. four. I had to. Like, they old, required I, me to write one down. I can't remember going and having my background check called in, though. That's all. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm buying. Dude, back in James's day, they had bankers' notes. <laughs> <laughs> I actually use the the Confederate dollars. The fuck that means, like, James and I are very close. My silver like, notes. God damn it! <laughs> Come in with a bag of right? silver notes. He, and, he, yeah, he used silver certificates. Yeah, um, uh, yeah we actually mailed it. guns by horseback. Yeah, <laughs> the Pony, Express. Pony Express. Pony Express. Damn it! Got me, dude. Pay for it with it. Susan B. Anthony's. Back yeah. in my day, you could order a machine gun yeah. from a catalog. I would trade. I'll trade you my sugar for for your Lowell receiver. Yeah. Trade you some of my my whiskey, bourbon, and sugar. They actually were telling me that, like, oh, you know, the the, the when we went to the Louisville, they were telling us about that. Like, oh yeah, they would trade such and such and their bourbon whiskey for for their daily supplies of milk and eggs. And I'm like, I think you're just making alcoholics. What fucking <laughs> accent is that? Is I don't know. It's like a mix of like a Savannah and then something else. You hit me with a. It's like Morgan Freeman. That was a low hey, the hey, other day. Hey, <laughs> time out, time out. Drop it, dude. That was lo- that was low country gay man. <laughs> yeah, that, that was, Charleston elite. That was a that rapping all right there. That was uh, that's what's his name? Um, it's our senator. It's our senator, dude. It's Lindsey Graham, right? Lindsey Graham. <laughs> yeah, that's like you said, a gay <laughs> southern dude. Like, that's yeah. exactly. That's Leonardo DiCaprio and Django. Is what that is. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it kind of was though, wasn't it? Fucking hit, didn't it? <laughs> no. Nah. Okay, I'm going to stop. <laughs> yeah. That's why I was like, I'm going to stop right here uh, or something. Uh, J- James, did you say your word? Yeah. What was it? You literally commented on you dumb shit. So, <laughs> I was I like, hear it one more time. No. Come on. No. Listen to the podcast. Right. Do it for the people. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> Download it, please. Download the episode, please. In my fucking year. The worst year. <laughs> <laughs> Audio clips oh, time. I'm about to cut your fucking leg off. All right, PJ. All right. Yeah, how about you, man? What's up? What's a, what's a word you can't can't stand? 
Ruiz. <laughs> Ruiz. <laughs> Ruiz. <laughs> um, I don't really know. Bojangles. Oh, oh, dude, s- fuck Bojangles. Fuck you. Fuck you. Bro, shit, come on, oh, bro. I've caused a civil war on the table. Get you a fucking pub sub. What do you mean? <laughs> you, don't like, <laughs> you don't like Bojangles? Uh, was, He's from Florida. As the kids say, it was mid- He's going to eat the Wawa. <laughs> Good. That's a good use of that. Oh, have you ever had sheets? <laughs> Crema. Okay. So no, no word for you, huh, BJ? All right. I, nothing nothing bo- no words bother you, man. Nothing, nothing strikes a okay. chord. Okay. How about yeah. a phrase? How about a, what's a phrase you can't stand? It is what it is. What's in Bay Poland? Yeah. Yeah. Really? I, I, I hate is what it is, actually. Really, yes. dude? <laughs> Damn. If you can't give me a straight answer on a question that I've asked you... It, Dude, that's my pissing question. That's like my pissing response. Oh, how, how how's your day doing? It is what it is. I suppose. Living the dream. Living the dream. Yeah, that's a depressed man. If someone says that to you at a at a, at a bathroom stall. Uh, when when yeah. you get it, when you get, you know, when you get a question like that, you know, or an answer like that, you know, you you can tell somebody's got some something else going on they don't want to talk about. Sure. Yeah. I'm just wondering why Max is having conversations with men in the bathroom and also sounding like a gay southern. Yeah, if it's not hard, he doesn't want it. Yeah. That's right. Well, this 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 podcast is sponsored by Bluetooth, so I have to cater to my uh my audience and garner more audience. If you're listening, listening anybody at Bluetooth, please reach out. To yeah, I am not officially. I'm unofficially com. sponsored. <laughs> this is costing me money every month, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running out of emails to use to sign up for hey, free subscriptions. How much, how much do you guys pay for your sponsorships? <laughs> Yeah, dude, they told me to sign up here. And I had to pay for it. It's not hey, a sponsorship. I... It was a subscription. <laughs> <laughs> they said prescription, technically. But yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I wasn't sure. Damn. I figured like it would be like a rebate or something after like 12 months. Something like that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend. He's no, trying to just... slip him in my drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not staying the night, bro. <laughs> I gotta waste it on you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. That's a long ride back. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Long. Bumpy. <laughs> and we're gonna stop at the Lion's Den too, dude. Oh, I-26. God. Yeah. I would. I would. I-26. Get your stick that's on. It. Get your stick on dildos and your yeah. Boy. Light up butt clothes. That's, watch the... that's a wild concept to me. Like, I remember the first time, I think me and my sister drove to uh, Virginia to uh, pick up a cousin. Uh, hmm. What's for No, he was... No. I was <laughs> waiting. Someone was going to say some shit. Like, so what, gonna, uh, what, this what happened to this cousin, dude? Uh, no, no, no. no, my cousin was in the Navy, which, yeah. <laughs> wow, you're just yeah, digging he, deeper, dude. He's, he's about as Navy as it comes, but... Uh, we're as he up. comes? As he comes. <laughs> And he always comes, dude. Was he a seaman? He was a seaman. <laughs> Says the dude with seaman We're fucking beard. five. We're five years old. Oh. But we had to go pick him up at the naval base up there in, uh, I think it's Hampton. But, uh, yeah, it was like seeing the porn stores, like, on the interstate. And it's like, man, like, you see the signs for it. And you're like, who the fuck is, like, on a trip going, you dude. know what I need right now? Porn. The pastor. But you go by and it's a fucking full parking lot. It's like, I, holy shit. I'm not even gonna lie. I, I want to go in one so bad. Like, I just want to see what other creatures are inside there. It's like going to Bucky's. All right, screw baseball. We're all yeah. going there. It's like, so like, joking aside, I'll be honest, I fucking hate Bucky's. But it's a great bathroom stop. Yeah, it's, it's a great it's, place to shit. It's yeah. a great place to go to the stop and get the bathroom. Everything else is like, just whatever. But you go in there, dude. You were seeing the. Cr- That's what I'm oh, mine was is on point. mine was garbage, dude. I've had it Bro, twice. It's been trash. Brisket sandwich I, has, trash. has never missed for me. I didn't care for it. But. Back to back times. It's been God damn, you're deplorable. Like I do fun. like the uh, beef jerky selection. Yeah, yeah. the wall of jerky is pretty it's, tight. It's it's. There's too many choices. Yeah. Bohemian garlic all day. Yeah, that's the one. But that like, is the one. Also, the stop Korean at barbecue that, yeah. also great. The cherry is terrible, and I would not recommend at all. <laughs> I wouldn't get that. You made my point. But um, but yeah, so um, but yeah, so stop in there, check it out, see what other people are lurking in there, and then also my favorite pastimes, reading the. Re- you don't even have to go. You can just go read the reviews of your local whatever sex shop along your interstate. Mm. I promise you, some you'll here. be entertained for hours. It's it's well, fucking awesome. The really cool thing about the way here is uh. There's a there's a pretty large billboard, yeah. And it's the one there's about a multiple. half. There's a half mile in front of the porn stop, 
It says, you know. Repent. Yeah, I was just about to say that. That's yeah. exactly what it says. Repent. It's, it's, repent now. No. You know, like let Jesus in. Up, repent. Let in, Jesus. Like, yeah. Oh, let him in your heart, you know. And it's like, and then literally I'm at like 300 yards up the road. It's like. Come get your dildos. Lines down. Butt yeah. plugs Bluetooth everywhere. Bluetooth's starting to work, and the next thing you know, you're getting guilt tripped. Buy one, get one free butt plug. Yeah. So that's where yeah. all the politicians hang Make out. Sure. Make so, sure the, the jizz mopper. What's the worst? Is, like, the, they have viewing rooms. That, mm, yeah, that's what and I said. Then, then the, have you not noticed? Tip oh, the yeah, jizz mopper. You, you, you got the craziest shit ever, dude. You got to tip the jizz mopper. Yeah. Is that what Pee Wee Herman got busted for? No, he was in a movie theater. But my whole thing is like, Who's jerking it? Like who's jerking it like that, dude? That's crazy. The, 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 well, you they gotta always, make sure the movie's good before car, you buy it. Jerking it crazy style, movie. dude. Well, my, my thing is they always try to, you know, oh these aren't for like weird things. I'm like, li- literally, I have a phone. If I need to look at porn, I can just type it in my phone. I don't need to go down the fucking interstate. I'm, hold on. Hold on. It's, it's the same guy as writing the check to yep. Brownells that's going... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, they don't want their identity stolen. I don't, I'm not going to pay you to go into your room to do this. I'm just going to do it in my car. You know? Yeah. In the parking lot of the porn store. Sure. While looking at the stuff on the okay, side. sponsor Blue Chew. <laughs> but then you don't get to preview the movie before you buy it. It's just a repeat, dude. It's like Avatar. It's probably on Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> some shitty eighties like mm-hmm. like uh like zapped Bush Pro meatballs. Bushmaster. Yeah. It's got that nice Two. static over it a little bit. Four eighty P shit's VHS dude. needs to link up with those places and sell their four fifty Bushmaster and three fifty legend mags in the porn store. Oh yeah. It's not serialized, you don't need an FFL. I mean guys who like porn are into, into guns. Yeah. I mean if you look at fucking recoil magazine, they'll put anything on their cover. <laughs> That's true. Oh, okay. there's there's some blown out and those dudes aren't into guns. <laughs> it's also true. <laughs> oh god. You have to leave your house to shoot a gun. So well so, <laughs> not unless you're now. John, you go in the backyard and yeah. mag dump. Oh my gosh. That's true. Wow. Machine gun shooting in the docks, backyard. Docks, dude. He just docks you, bro. Okay. Just look for the house. Just got docks. Docks for the top of Chico man. Docky dock. But um but yeah, so um yeah, uh, we're moving a, on. It like, is what it is. It's what happens when you live in the It'd be what it be. Irregardless. Yeah, irregardless. It, <laughs> it do be. It do be like that sometimes. Yeah, what do you about think about that? that? What do you think about that phrase? It be like it it do be like that sometimes. So it's just the same thing. Yeah, but it's a different like f- it's phrasing. Just, it's the same meaning. It's it more, is what it is. A little more urban. It do be like that. I mean it's I said that all the time. I did go to public school though. They don't In think the it be like that, but it be like do. that. It do be. It do be like that, dude. So first person I ever heard, do, first person I ever heard say that was Corey, our government guy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, he was like, he would always come in. Is this is who I was talking about earlier? Uh, you know, super nice dude, super cool dude, real humble. He would come into the office, you know, in the morning. He's all in a good mood. And he's like, "Hey man, how's your day going?" And I'd be like, I'd be like, get my dick kicked in or having just a shitty day. I'm like, man, it's going pretty rough, dude. I'm not having a great day. He goes. It do be, and he would just walk the fuck off. Make your day better and get your shit hard. Stop getting kicked in the dick. Take blue chew. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, so it do be. Yeah. So well, speaking of phrasing stuff in movies, and we're kind of just trending off, and I think we, we are capping up on our time yeah, too. Yeah, no cap. We're going to a baseball no cap. game. For yeah, real, for baseball real. game. Baseball. Gonna watch the oh, we're gonna watch the Charleston Sea Monkeys play today. Yeah. Come on, Sea Monkeys. There was an actual team named the Sea Monkeys. I think sea it was Savannah. What, was it, what is the Charleston Sea name? River dogs. River dogs. River dogs. Yeah, That's yeah. terrible. Yo, we, hey, hold on, time out. We getting glizzies? Yeah. Oh, 100%. Absolutely, we getting glizzies. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Water. Hell yeah. Let's go, I cannot wait to get like a group Why of all of us. Coke and a glizzy. Dumbest fucking names. We're living. Because all the good ones are taken by the real team. It's not yeah. even good, though. I mean, there's plenty of better Savannah names than bananas, River Dog. Dude. Brananas. They used the, to have a different name, though, didn't they? Didn't they used to be the Charleston, like, Stingrays or something? Rainbows. Bro, the, something sing, like that. the Stingrays is a hockey team. There's Obama's uh, agenda. No, I'm just... Damn, dude. The River Dolls. Yeah, we, we, all, we, all, <laughs> we all... We <laughs> all... We're the Charleston shoes. We're, we're wearing our away jerseys. These are the blue ones. The away blue chew jerseys. Get all your right. name together right, so now. I, I gotta get my word out there. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. We're fucking waiting. This whole time. I thought you said it better be a good uh, one. Oh, All right, so back to baseball. It better be a good one. <laughs> it's similar to Max's. I'll give it that. And I gave him shit. I'm sorry. Gushing. 
Ooh. I can. I yeah. like that it's word. Just I so descriptive, like, and there's no real good. Your panties are Positive gushing. use? Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God, dude. That's yeah. like so, it's just oh. fucking gross, bro. Yeah. Keep that up, and I'm going to be gushing. gushing your panties no. and made them moist. <laughs> dude. It's like the triumvirate of it disgusting words. <laughs> God, Jesus. <laughs> the only difference is like, as long if you say like gusher, it's okay. Like, oh, whatever. But then you add that ING on it. Yeah, if you're like, this cake is moist, you're like, fuck yeah, it is, dude. But I mean, it's what okay. if it's like gushing blood? Not good. Not a good thing. Well, I'm not saying I, I that, doesn't, that, that doesn't either. bother me. I think yeah, I, that doesn't I really. Affect, I don't really care. That's what I mean, there's no good use for the word. I mean, basically everything spoken by a porn star, a female porn star, is pretty fucking. Cringe. It's on mute. <laughs> right, it's I've like, never heard somebody mute. say yeah. I'm gushing. It's now. on mute. It's on, <laughs> I haven't been to the lines. Yeah. Yeah. You got yeah, that. Yeah, 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 I don't know different categories. Repent now. No big deal. It's on mute, bro. I ain't, I ain't picking up whatever words they're saying. I don't care. Uh, you guys want to listen to the storyline? <laughs> <laughs> the acting is fucking great. No, they, oh, they you really don't love need me to stay late, sir? Okay. <laughs> I would like to earn some extra hours. How could I be of assistance? I swear to God, the, the actual like non-sexual acting in in some porns reminds me if if I was just an actor. If I was just like, yeah, oh, yeah I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go do this role. Yes, I would like that, sir. It's like they're fucking. It's so forced. Did it's you so order hard. the large pizza <laughs> with extra sausage? <laughs> well, sausage I have pizza one right here. Clip coming. <laughs> Well, it's your lucky day. So speaking so speaking of movie, like I obviously with a time constraint and not being able to like really <laughs> explore the space. Six, six fucking people. We'll we'll kind of continue on just because it's like banter in general. But speaking of like movies, not that kind. What's like the worst or like the most overrated movie that you guys have seen lately, or like one that like people just keep on just just bringing up? It could be like it doesn't have to be recent. It can be like recent or past couple years or whatever like what would you say is like just a super overrated movie or or tv show for that matter that people just like won't let go i got a couple to be honest go ahead. i got a couple I'm i can the star wars thing man I really never got into it i've never seen a full full movie Damn. i can't get through it it's Damn. just that's tough. my wife loves it my kids love it and just Damn. I think it's overrated, man. Is there yeah. is there a movie that's like that? Because like I know some people are like anti, like a <laughs> Star Wars. Blue Chew is got back in my throat, yeah. bro. Blue Chew. The people start believing that I actually am on Blue Chew, but um, he is. like sometimes <laughs> the Lord, I'm rock like hard right now. License, it says Blue Dot Chew. I am. Actually, his license plate. I am a foot and away from the table, but I'm hitting it. If you get what I'm saying, but um, blue as blue as John's glasses. But um, I know some people are like preference like Lord of the Rings or something like that. Like, oh, if I don't fuck God, with Star that Wars, shit drug on. I, uh, I do most. I'm I a Lord of the Rings guy or I something. Just you know, say I'm very surprised about the Star Wars thing for you. Really? I am too because actually. you look like you would like it. I agree, dude. <laughs> I fucking. <laughs> I agree. I'm out. I, I fuck let, me, let me I'm let me out. let me put, let me put this out. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, I like it. So I could <laughs> I could see him being one of those guys who like didn't see the original Star Wars and then grew up with the, like the prequels first. And then saw him, and then like True. you liked Star Wars. I don't know why. I see. I can see that. I kind of actually, I like the prequels more than I like the new ones. Well, yeah, that's true too. That's fair. But that's fair. okay, I won't. I'm gonna hog it in. So we'll say like worst movie. So Star Wars yeah, is yours, dude. All right, go yeah. ahead, James. What do you got? What do you think, James? Oh, there's tons of movies. Yeah, that I fucking despise. I um, figured. Go on. In a good way. Um. Uh, trying to think. I mean, obviously, I've spouted my hatred of, not hatred, but dislike of Forrest Gump, but I think, and this is going to seem like a reoccurring theme, but I promise you, I have no problems with the special needs community. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking movie radio. Oh, damn, damn. Hear me I, out. I thought you were going to go There's Ringer and I was going to have a problem. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Ringer's great. Yeah. Uh, so when the fuck did we get ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> you picked it up in clear daylight. Um, but no, my beef with radio. Scratch. <laughs> is, I think it was like at that time, and Corey from Superior Defense is giving me shit about this. 
about my extensive knowledge of uh, movies involving special needs people. <laughs> That's a very niche deal. Well, here's my thing. It was like in the 90s and 2000s, they were like, hey, <clears throat> what's a sad story about a special needs person that we need to make some money off of? Because mm. you had Nell, which is about, I would just say, a normal Appalachian person, but mm. a special needs person that was in the woods that spoke her own language. It wasn't like she created like a complex language. She's just some tard in the woods going making okay. weird sounds. <laughs> Can't say tard, dude. <laughs> okay. A, a um, so we have developmentally disabled Appalachian woman in the woods that created her own language. That was a big movie for Jodie Foster. Uh, you had the other sister with uh, Patricia Arquette as herself or a special needs person. Um. You had... What else was it? You had the TV show, Life Goes On, about the kid with Down Syndrome. Oh, yeah. It was like Hollywood had like this recipe that where they're like, hey, let's find this fucking mediocre story about people treating a disabled person like a normal person and we'll celebrate it. It's like... But my whole thing is like, you should have treated him like that to begin. Why is this like a hero story? All right, he brought it back. All right, the hero <laughs> arc is gone. <laughs> All right, so next, next. <laughs> no, I'm, BJ. Just, I'm just saying. How dare you treat them normal? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no, yeah, no. I'm canceled, dude. No, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm so fucked. Never again. I'm just saying. Like, they're. they're I'm not getting blue. Like, the movie's bragging about treating people like Out humans. The <laughs> no, it's. <laughs> Yeah. It's let me, just. Let uh, me turn auto renew back on. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let me update my credit card information. <laughs> but it, it is literally about you know. But the thing is, is like in radio they do that. Like, oh, this is how we treat a, a special needs person, like a normal person. We're heroes, and like you shouldn't be patted on the back for that. That's what yeah. you should do to begin with. But then if you've ever been to Anderson, South Carolina, you'll understand that was an achievement for those people. <laughs> 100%. I, I still <laughs> hate... If you're in Anderson, South Carolina, listen to this. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody in your fucking bloodline. Except Maddie's patties. Yeah. Yeah, yeah except for Maddie's patties. All right, so BJ, what do you think? What's, what's a movie or show that you can't stand or in general? Hmm. I'm going to have to say probably anything with multiple series. Okay, okay. So you hate Marvel movies. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's I, another one. I, I will say this. I, hate I will say this. The quality of like actual like TV shows or series can actually... like I, I noticed this, or someone brought it to my attention. It was like some British British series or shows are normally like a one and done. Like you watch, It's like one season, and they kill the show. And then just because not to make redundant. And sometimes that's... It's okay. Right. Like I, I think in today's like media, dude, they are just milking sequels or redos or whatever. And it's just like it's yeah, yeah. great how it is. Just with some things, you know, you can get two, three seasons out of it, and then you know you got to let it go. But then, yeah, then after that, you know, when you, when you just start coming up with the same storyline every week, you know, it, yeah, it, it gets old. Those are my burner shows. So, every Marvel. Production. Yeah. <laughs> this Ever time since... the character is a trans Asian Pan Pacific, whatever. They're lo- they're bleeding money. Well, my whole uh, thing about that. Oh, hold on, sidebar on that real quick, just to rant about. Yeah, we, we get quick minutes. So I want to make sure. My we get problem too. with that is a lot of people treat it as like, oh, you're racist, sexist, homophobic, or whatever. No, the whole thing is is the argument is is the story exists, and you're rewriting the story, and you're creating something, and people think that they're doing it for representation or whatever. No, they're doing it to tap into another market. They're just yeah. trying to get your money. There's no nobility in what they're doing, so stop fucking falling for it. Rant over. All right. All right, Matt, what do you think, man? What do you think? <clears throat> so, there's going to be a lot of hate for this one. Game of Thrones. I knew, yeah, I just somehow I knew you were going to say Game of Thrones. I'll throw another one in. The Walking Dead. I'm okay with that, actually. I, I feel like that one... Alone like has raised a whole <laughs> a whole new level of gun owner, and I don't like him. That's true. A lot of zombies. But I think, but I think it was a quick... trading hates gun owners. <laughs> <laughs> Anti-gun Anti-2A. owner. I think that was like this little small like blink of time during that too, and that was like when we started seeing the neon green and like the the hazard whatever yeah, zombie stuff. Ways. But I think it was like just like a year or two. 
and then it just like completely. I, it's still happening. I think is it really? It's still I think happening. Matt's upset because his zombie emergency response team application got denied, and now my, he's bitter about the certification. Yeah, Zert certification. Oh my god! <laughs> so I'm trying to think of one. I'm trying to think of like a sp- specific movie or show. You know what? I don't. I don't like Friends. I hate Friends. I, I, hate, I, I agree with that. I hate the Friends show Friends. Garbage. I think people like hype it up as a, something crazy. Like I remember watching like it was like one of these stupid movies that was on Netflix recently, and the whole pivot was like the daughter finally oh, getting to the watch fucking the fucking Obama's movie. Yeah, it was so fucking or, so fucking stupid. The fuck it was. That movie I can't. Sucked. I was like, I was like, this is this is what I just wasted my time on. It was the most anticlimactic movie. Yeah, I've it was, ever it was seen lame. In my life. I was gonna watch about. A minute of that and turned it off because it what was is it? boring. It had a good storyline until they didn't follow through. Yeah, with that yeah. shit. I was like, "Damn, this is gonna I'm be lost. good." I'm lost. You, to... The last is it? The Last of Us? Mm-mm. Not that one. Not I can't remember what it is either. But yeah, it's got of... one of the Obamas just did. Yeah, uh, I didn't even know they did it till like afterwards. You got one? I did. I, well, I said Friends, and then there's 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 actually a ton. The Leave the there. world behind. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean, the whole the plot, like the preface of things, it was so like. Holy shit, this could actually happen. And then they just fucking yeah. ruined it. Like, yeah. Michael Bay got a hold of that shit. <laughs> boom! Gah! Boom, 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 Burning boom, bodies! Boom, boom, boom. What about you, man? What do you think? I'm gonna Chris? go Taken. Taken? Yeah, yeah that Taken serious. Okay. Irresponsible parent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, and to be also, like, How to, many to go, take like? it a little further, I, I hate that, I, I wasn't a fan of the series itself, but the main actor. So fucking. Oh, that is very anti shit. anti-gun even though his fucking career has been made making money off off of gun violence yeah, I will fuck I could, you fuck him and I will fuck you let's use hand you. grenades yeah. in a fucking sonar yes. <laughs> fuck that guy was that the third one or whatever <clears throat> dumbest yeah. shit ever yeah, like, yeah no one's gonna notice the hand grenades going on I'll yeah, first so one ridiculous. on him. like he literally like she's trapped and he's like I think she's dropping like flashbangs or hand grenades yeah so he can like echo locate her yeah and I'm like, yeah, because nobody else in the city is going to go, hey, what's up with all these fucking explosions? She just happens to have, like, movie I was ten telling you about. fucking usual suspects, usual suspects dude. Mm-hmm. That's a Give me that money, I'm out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's that's, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's what I was talking about. Okay, dude. that makes sense. I'm trying to think. Also, maybe. shout out to Harry Potter for giving uh, James Granger his first acting career. That was super cool. Jeez. Seeing him in the Damn, movie. man. Let's he's, start, a, let's go he's the sorting hat, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a big Harry Potter fan. I'm a big Harry Potter fan. R.I.P. Dobby. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to Dumbledore. There. What's up, James? Yeah. Ah, yeah. That's never heard that before. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah man. Well the rest of Hash the trading Instagram code for companies. all your original content needs. All right. So before I know we're we're like almost literally out of time, but I just want to make sure everyone gets a chance to do all the shout outs for their their tags and everything like that. So you can find them if you don't are, are, aren't already following them, and if not, I'll have you everything in the description so you can see it. But uh, uh, we'll for the sake of time, we'll just. Hit people that haven't been on. So, John, obviously. Yeah, John, Francis Defense, Instagram, uh, Francis underscore Defense. Pretty easy one, man. And he scolded me for saying for not saying manufacturing. Yeah. Right? No, I'm just kidding. Now I'm just man, kidding. Now just kidding. manufacturing silence. Dude, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna break away from this for a second, right? IOI interview and going through with the, the ATF agent. She's like, oh, what's the, the name, blah, blah, blah. Francis Manufacturing and Defense. And she's like, you do realize that you have to put this on firearms, correct? And I was like, oh, shit, my bad. That's a good story. That's fine. That's funny. Solid. Uh, BJ, you care enough? Or... I don't really have any Instagram or followers. Right, I'm still putting you on there, dude. I got you, bro. BJ's give me, give me your like email that. so I can use you as a, as an email for my uh, subscription, my yes, free sample, dude. Extent. My five free samples, dude. <laughs> five free samples. <laughs> and then Matt, of course. What's up? At Braxton Jason. <laughs> I hate Indian food at gmail.com. Shout out Indian food, by the way. I'm I'm a fan. My wife is Indian. So. I have a peanut butter sandwich really? in yeah. the house if you want. Is she really? She's Indian and Italian, so yeah. Nice. Never mind. You fucking hate Italian. I do. It's fucking Italian's overrated. Italian. <laughs> it's like, it's all the same. You can go to the cheapest Italian spot, the most expensive. It's the same fucking shit. Hold on. Whoa. No. Oh, no, no, let's, no, no, no. Let's, hold on. Get, say, say your Instagram name, dude. <laughs> say that shit now. Malucci, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. He's going to fuck it. Boys, oh, yeah. He's gonna, you're going to about to get a fucking, uh, uh, what's it, a cement feet. Mike won't let this stand. Hey, 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 Mike will not tolerate this. I listened to your podcast and that Matt fucker. <laughs> fuck that, dude. <laughs> uh, from Rhode Island. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Rhode Island, Jersey. 
Uh, so yeah, mine's just at hash trading co. You know, big weed guy. For what me. about your other like yeah. f- fourteen <laughs> that you make to increase your follower count? Uh, so we got <laughs> Snack Force Doomer, um, Meal Team Six. Uh, yeah, Blue Chew number one supporter at gmail dot com. We plug Blue Chew here. <laughs> this is a Blue Chew podcast. We're, we're all we're all hard as yeah, hard as rocks right now. Before the show, yeah, yeah. we're 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 snorting these bad boys. Those weren't tomatoes and cucumbers. That was just blue chew. Yeah, yeah. I think I'll see. Um, any any closing remarks, gentlemen? Yeah, just gays for guns. Yep. Yeah, we are gays um, for guns. Yeah. yeah. To touch on his comment, as someone who's a self-proclaimed fan of Mexican food, to criticize Italian food. Ooh, <laughs> good God. <laughs> Just saying. Crema. 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 Crema.